So guys, get a call from Jamaica. Somebody say, they saw me pack some barrel for your family in Jamaica. And they want me to pack a barrel for them. So I say, no problem. I will do it. Send me your list how where you want because I don't want to pack the barrel. And when the barrel reach a Jamaica, you, you call them judgment and disgrace for me because I put stuff in the barrel what you don't want and you, you start slander my name. So send a list how where you want so I can have an idea what you want. And the person say, okay, no problem, you do that. So them ask for me account information so them can deposit the money. So I say, no problem. So the person say, okay, I have $300 for pack a barrel. I say, what? $300 can't. I say, well, on. how do you come from? I wish rock you live on. Are you even catching up to current events? How do you come from? Mars? $300? How do you take man for punk? $300 can't pack no barrel. You idiot? $300 for pack one barrel. I wear them up. I wear them at Jamaican come from. $300 for do it. Pack where? What kind of barrel? $300 can pack. I wear. I sleep here, I sleep. You better wake up. Pinch yourself and wake up. $300 can pack no barrel. Alright? Hello guys. Welcome back to Manix Robinson TV one more time. If this is your first time tuning in, remember to like, share, subscribe. Hit that post notification bell that whenever I drop a video, you won't miss it. So guys, here what's going on. You probably see this stuff on my carpet right here and you're curious what is going on. That is what I will be talking about in this video. And some of you are going to be surprised. So the other day I got a call from Jamaica, from my beautiful island of Jamaica. Somebody called me and said that, Mr. Robinson, I saw where you pop barrel for somebody in Jamaica. I was wondering if you can do the same for me. I said, yeah, no problem. I, 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 I can, no problem. I love to help, yeah, no problem, you know? But I have one requirement. You need to send me a list of what you want, what brand products you need, so I can have a list or an idea of what you want so that when I, whenever I pack it and send it down, you don't curse me out and, and call down God out even upon me saying why I pack riffraff stuff, generic brand, expiry goods and all starter stuff, pies and goods where you don't want. So send me a list so I can know exactly what you want. So person, person get the drift what I was saying. So, the person said, can I get your account information so I can deposit the money in your account so you can do the thing? I said, no problem, I will send it. So, then the person, this is the kicker, guys. This is the kicker. And this is the reason why I'm talking about it. Because I need to get it, get it through to some people. Right? This, is what, this is the kicker. This is the mind-blowing section of the conversation that, got me wondering like what is this so the person said they have three hundred dollars now i was I, I thought i heard wrong i thought the person said three hundred thousand dollars and here in jamaica i thought they said they had three hundred thousand dollars so i'm ready to tell them i think that is a little bit too much you know when i say repeat yourself again the person said $300. So I said 300 Jamaican or 300 US dollars. They said 300 US dollars. So I said, are you joking or you're playing a game? What are you saying? Oh, they say, yeah, can I? They're going to sell me $300 to pack a barrel. 300 US dollars. I said, I said to the person with a calm, still voice, I said, let me explain something to you. Let, 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 let me just, let me. Sit down on my carpet, guys. Let me sit down on my sit down. Let me sit down on my carpet. Let me sit down on my carpet. So even though my foot kind of look a little bit ashy, like you want a lower shot. Look there. Let me put out the product there. So I said to the person, let me explain something to you. You want me to pack a barrel for you, 300 US dollars. Let, let, let me just explain how this thing goes. 
they have two type of barrels that I am aware of. The, and the two type of barrel that I use is the jumbo paper barrel and the jumbo plastic barrel. Two of them, different prices. The paper barrel is for $40 and the plastic barrel is for $50. Depend if you if you're working off a budget, you can either you, you can do the paper, but if you want to go a little bit more, you can do the plastic. They play, recommend do the plastic because the plastic you is multi multi purpose. You can use it over and over and over. Then die kingdom come. Anyway, so I said to the lady, when you subtract that from the three hundred dollars, you have two hundred and sixty if you're going for the paper and two hundred and fifty if you're going for the plastic. Now the shipping company fee to pick up and ship off, it depends. You ship in the barrel, it's gonna take out 130 if you're picking up in Montego Bay and 120 if you're picking it up in Kingston. Price may have changed, guys, so don't take my words as the final say. Prices change. So I said, okay, when you subtract that amount, how much do you have remain? I asked the individual question, do you think 100, $130 can pack a barrel even if i use coupons to buy everything which i love to use coupons i won't be i i can't do that it is impossible for me to do that no if if you if you want me to go to the food bank to get to get food from the food bank to fill up the barrel and to send it to Jamaica for you. If that's what you want, fine, fine. Say that, but I would have rejected the idea and told you no because I don't operate like that. If you had said to me, guess what? I have 300 US dollars. Is there any way you can help me out? I would say, let me think about it and then I will get back to you and give you a an answer. But to say you have 300 dollars to pack a barrel, you know, I was a little bit bewildered because I'm saying, can somebody really expect somebody to, to do that? Guys, let me know. Some, some individual may look at this video in their different way and say, whatever, and say whatever that they want. But guys, 300 US dollars cannot buy the barrel pack the barrel and pay to ship the barrel. It it cannot, maybe somebody else out there can, if anybody, if any of you re, viewers regular pack barrel and you pack a barrel for $300, leave it in the comment, let me know and tell me how you do it so I can call back the individual and tell the individual, say, okay, a person gave me some, some insights in how I can pack the barrel for $300 and get it to you. But anyway, guys, anyway, I went to the supermarket this morning and these are the items that I bought. And what you see here, probably half a barrel already. These right here, probably half a barrel. And the reason why I say half a barrel, because some of the items, they are in, 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 in boxes, so they're gonna take up space, right? So we are looking at half a barrel right here. and. All of the items that you see here is roughly the these guys are on sale for originally twenty something dollars. They were on sale for fourteen dollars at Shoprite. Basmati rice. So all of these items right here is for a hundred and forty-two dollars. A hundred and forty-two dollars worth of items right here, and. If you look at it, you can already determine here that the everything that I would normally pack in a barrel, it's not here. And the reason why I got these items at such a ridiculous price is because they are currently on sale at, sh at shop rice. For example, this Carolona long grain rice, it's a two pound package. It's a brown rice. It's originally $4. It's on sale now for $1.45. Yes. Kellogg Raisin Brand Crunch. They're on sale for $2.25. Dawn Laundry Detergent. Originally $4. They're on sale for $2.99. 
Arizona iced tea. Originally four dollars, they're on sale for two dollar forty five cents. Wishbone salad dressing. Originally three dollars, they're on sale for one dollar ninety nine cents. Four C iced tea mix. Originally eight dollars and couple cents. They're on sale for four dollars and something cents planters peanut originally two dollars there was a coupon stuck to it if you buy two you get a dollar off so i got two for three dollars and these are just some of the items that when i'm packing a barrel i will put them in a barrel so the reason why we got these items for for $142 is because all of the items that you see on the floor right now, all of them are on sale. And if you notice, there, there's no, there's only one store brand product in the stash. So you guys kind of have an idea. Now, even if I shop around for sale, as you can see, it's still, this still can pack a barrel. Even if I shop on sale, even if I had used coupons to go against the sale product, it still wouldn't be enough to stretch that $100 to full a barrel. Because when a person they go say, yo, I have $300, you want me to pack a barrel for it. It's like, I'm questioning myself like, can you even take 300 US dollars and full a card and buy all of these, buy even half of these items in a supermarket in Jamaica? I don't think so. Because I went down there and I tried to buy a Kellogg cornflakes. It was, it's almost a thousand dollars. Iced tea, a thousand dollars. 25, 20 pound basmati rice, it's over, it's over three thousand dollars. Brown rice, two pound brown rice, I don't know. A, a dani like this probably costs you three three thousand dollars. So, you know, when a person gonna say, oh, three hundred dollars to pack a barrel, not even five hundred dollars can pack a barrel. When you take out the, when you factor in the price of the barrel and the price of picking up and shipping the barrel, the remainder of it cannot pack the barrel. Even if I drive around and shop, shop for generic items. I implore you guys, if you have any family members living overseas and you want to pack a barrel and you have your money, your money, yes, your money. If you sit down pan the money down there, fork out the money and Senegal give your loved ones to pack a barrel so that you can get it before December. Because right now, right now is the perfect time to pack a barrel because now if we are going in the Thanksgiving season, we are in the Halloween season or we are going now. It's a home stretch towards Christmas. So a lot of these supermarkets, they are marking down price for Thanksgiving. And that is why you see I got all of these stuff on sale. And more sale stuff will be going on sale where we jump into November. I think it's tomorrow. But guys, $300 cannot pack a barrel. $400 can't pack a barrel. $500, $600 can't pack a barrel. The least you have to have, and, and listen to me guys, let me tell you something. If a person don't want the headache and just want to go at one supermarket to pack a barrel, you then look pan, if, if the person just want to go at one place to pack a barrel, you look at least on a thousand dollars. Yes, thousand dollars to buy the barrel, to ship the barrel, so you take out, when you take out all of that, you know you got 800 and something dollar left. If you just want to shop at one supermarket. You see it. But to say that you're going to shop around. $800 can pack your barrel. And ship it off. So a lot of people have to. And the reason why I'm saying this is to let some people kind of get an idea of, of what it is. What it takes to pack a barrel and how. You're shopping to pack a barrel. To save your money, I'll have to drive around different places looking for getting coupons, looking for a supermarket that is going on sale to save you, the, 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 the recipient, money. If not, 
it's going to be a thousand dollar if I'm just going to go to one supermarket. My fellow Jamaicans, don't think that we just walk and pick up stuff off the ground because some of you down there, when relatives even send stuff come give you, when you don't even send no money to pack the barrel, you don't, you, you, you don't send money to pack the barrel, you don't have money to clear the barrel or nothing. It's the person that you're asking for do all of that. And when the barrel reach, you talk about, you know, he this and you know, he that. Which you reserve the right to say that. And you, you, you probably, some of you probably throw away this stuff. But if you don't want to incur stuff in a barrel that you don't like, send your money. Send your money to pack the barrel and also send a list of the items that you want to go in the barrel. You see it? So that at the end of the day, you feel happy and the person who slave out themselves to pack the barrel will feel, will feel happy. You see it? And, and for the individual who say, who went warm if you pack a barrel for $300, you know? No feel no way if you see this video. I'm just doing this video to send a message so that other people can understand that. You know? Three, even if even if even with all these items on sale half price majority of these items that are bought they are on half price it still went over a hundred dollar and i didn't get everything that i want because some of the stuff that i want they weren't on sale and i said that i'm not buying them i'm waiting until until november chip scene when some of the supermarket will start put stuff on sale for thanksgiving some of the items that I needed, they were on sale, so I purchased them. And as you see, these are the items that I got. And it still went over $100. And majority of them were half price. And majority of them, they are not store brand products. They are not near to expire. They are not generic brands. They are original brand products. And still I went over $100. So this... Probably you this probably can go in a half a barrel. You can probably get yeah, you look at this. This is half a barrel, guys. This is half a barrel. Now, two hundred dollar can pack a box. Because even the box, depending on the size box, the box they go cost more than the barrel. You may buy the box for thirty something dollar, but the shipping price the to pick up and ship the barrel gonna cost more because it is cubic cubic feet. The barrel price is already set. So maybe it's a box if you want to. If you want for me to pack a box, okay, send the 300 US dollars, come give me, and I will I will drive around, no charge whatsoever, and I will pack the box for the 300 dollars. But 300 dollars cannot pack a barrel. It cannot pack a barrel, guys. It cannot. It cannot pack a barrel. No matter how far I will stretch that hundred dollar. It cannot. Even if I even if I buy everything at quarter price and use coupon, it still cannot stretch that remaining one hundred and thirty dollar to pack a barrel. It, it, it cannot. Box you will get a box, but but not a barrel. You see it. And as I said, if you if 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 any of you in Jamaica and you have relatives, you want your relatives to pack a barrel. And which a lot of you, a lot of you, you have relatives that, that probably they're going to tell you no, they're not do it because packing a barrel is no better rose. It's not easy. You got to, if, if you are a considerate person and if a person call you and say that, yo, man, you can pack a barrel for me. If you are a considerate person, you will say, okay, guess what? If you have 800 US dollar for taking out, subtracting the price of the barrel and shipping. I can drive around at different locations. See what is on, on sale. And then I can check out in the circular. See what type of coupons they have there that can go against the even the sale item. Or against items that are not on sale. And I will see if I can pack that barrel for you for $800. If I don't drive around, you cannot pack, I cannot pack that barrel for $800. Because 
because if I shop in at one location and the items are not on sale, it's going to go over $800. Now, being considerate, I will drive around and say, okay, I stop at this store, I stop at ShopRite, I stop at Potmark, I stop at Sam's, I stop at Walmart, I BJ's, I stop at Kiasco, I went to Aldi's, and I went all of these places to see if I can stretch that $800 and get the items to fill the barrel. Otherwise, if I am not a considerate person, I'm just going to go to shop right with us items and sale or not and just buy the items them. Not buy no generic stuff, just buy a card into your list and pack the barrel. And a possibility, it may go over go over $1,000. Now, I don't conduct myself like that because I don't do that do that to myself, so I don't do, I'm not going to do that for anybody. So I will drive around. And I went at one supermarket because I saw in the flyer that re all of these items are on sale. So I went to one supermarket and pick up these items. Now, I have an idea of what is going on. I can proceed forward to get the rest of items to, 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 to conduct this business right here. But to say that $300 can pack a barrel? Hell no. You can't pack a barrel, guys. Pack a box, yes, it can pack a box, but not a barrel. Probably the little, the little barrel them like this, you can get it, fine. But you, you do that and sell it down. They call them, they call them judgment on you, and I don't want nobody call them on judgment on me. Even though they call them judgment on me, whether you do good for them, yes or no, they still a call them judgment on you, because some of them, them still, they, them can't satisfy. But anyway, guys, as I said, the reason why I did this video is to. It's to shed a light on the thing to let people know, say, yo, 300 US dollar can't pack a barrel. Maybe 300 pound or 300 Canadian can't pack a barrel, but 300 US cannot pack a barrel. You see, it cannot. It cannot. So, if you want a barrel to pack, you have to look, you, you, you just have to look at, you are looking at 800 to 1,000 US dollars to buy the barrel, to pack the barrel and to ship the barrel. 800 to a thousand dollars and it's also varies the Depending on the type of year that you pack in a barrel. Right now is the best time to pack a barrel because the majority of the supermarkets, they are slashing price so that they can bring in customers for the Thanksgiving and the Christmas season. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I'm able to get three quarters of these stuff for half price. Uh, all right. So these are the items for the hundred and forty two dollars we got our two 20 pound bag of basmati rice we got two we got four two pound bags of long grain brown rice we got our we got 12 boxes of spaghetti yeah what they call this peony yeah you got Two boxes of the of the whole grain. You got your you got two jug of iced tea. You got fabric softener. You got cereal. You got iced tea. You got salad dressing. You got Alfredo sauce. You got past. You got spaghetti sauce. You got you got peanut. You got oatmeal, and you got a couple more pasta vegetable stuff over here so all of these stuff over here guys as i say is a hundred and forty two dollars you can tell already that majority of the stuff that we need they are not there as yet so, so there you have it my lovely viewers you want to pack a barrel you have to know within yourself that the person who, who is packing the barrel they have to be somebody that is considerate that will shop around so that your dollars will will stretch further if that person is not a considerate person, they're just going to go to one location and just shop in and then you're going to end up paying more for the, for the items that are in your barrel. But you can only stretch the dollar so far. $300, guys, cannot pack a barrel. $500, can't pack a barrel. $600, can't pack a barrel. $700, can't pack a barrel. $800, $900, 1,000, you can get a nice, decent barrel pack with nice, nice items inside of it if the person is considerate to shop around at different locations to get, to get the best item 
at the affordable price and to stretch to see if they can stretch your dollar all right but no way 300 dollars thanks again guys have yourself a blessed one thanks for tuning in to manage robinson tv that's how we do it around here and you know where the tape is at Harris? i told you it was right up it was on that that thing right there it was on the barrel yeah. okay here it is yeah yeah So you're gonna help me tape up the bottom then? Yeah, sure. We're gonna do the aisles then first. What are we gonna do second?